Hey guys, Rain here with today's RealFSX Pro Tip. Weather can be a huge issue in aviation, and being able to fly under IMC conditions means relying on nav aids and your instruments to get you to the runway. In this video, we will show you how you can land using the Instrument Landing System, or ILS, which is a system found at most airports to help guide planes towards the runway. The ILS consists of two separate systems, the localizer, which guides you horizontally to the runway, and the glide slope, which guides you vertically, usually on a 3 degree slope down to the runway. The first thing we need to do to fly an ILS approach is to bring up the plates. To do that, we go on skyvector.com, type an airport code into the search box, then you right click on the airport to go to the airport page. From here, you scroll down to the approach plates, find an ILS approach, uh, this one here is the ILS approach from way 02 into Maui. Observe the frequency, the approach course, the length of the runway, the touchdown zone elevation and the airport elevation. Insert the frequency into the NAV1 radio and press the button to put it into the active frequency. Then we set the course to 024, this is usually also the heading of the runway. We want to position our plane to fly on an intercept heading to the localizer. Looking at the vertical profile of the chart, we can see that we need to be at 3,000 feet until TEBS. TEBS is the latest point we can intercept the localizer at, and at which our plane will start to descend on the glide slope. Let's hop into our 737 and see it in action. We are now on an intercept heading to the localizer, and we have been cleared for the ILS approach by ATC. At this point, we will arm the nav button, also known as the VOR localizer button. Once the localizer is captured, the autopilot will automatically turn us in towards the runway. Now that we are on the localizer at 3000 feet and approaching Tebs, we can arm the approach button. Now we are at Tebs, we have established on the glide slope. Now sit back and watch as our plane takes us down. Once we can clearly see the runway, we can disable the autopilot and continue flying the plane manually. If you cannot see the runway at minimums, you have to go around. More on missed approaches, marker beacons and other types of instrument approaches will be covered in another video. That's it for today's episode, thank you for watching the Real FSX Pro Tips. If you need any help at all, do leave a comment below and don't forget to follow us on our Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.